self storage kind of looking stuff with the big fence around it and the single garages. Uh, you know, I don't want to say they're an eyesore, but they're not as beautiful as you they can't, could be. You can't build a, you know, a 50,000 square foot brick building and put no windows on it, or even fake ones. Everyone will think it's a strip club. <laughs> <laughs>Typically what we'll see is the owners of these retail, you know, big box retail stores. First, they try as hard as they can to continue to lease it. They don't even want to sell the asset because they, they're delusional and think another large big box is going to come in at least for 20 years. It's just not going to happen. Then once they realize that's not the case and the properties that have been sitting vacant for a few years, then they try to sell to another uh, owner that would use the same strategy of trying to get a retail client in there and then that doesn't work for you know two to three years so by this time the property's already been vacant for five six years and when it's not producing cash flow the owners aren't keeping up with the facade keeping up with the you know the pavement repairs on the outside especially in the midwest you know the the frost uh the frost right. heaving that happens can really destroy that and then it starts to look really blighted uh, on the community and because it's on a main thoroughfare, you know, you're having thou tens of thousands of cars past that facility every day and it's looking worse and worse every year. So by the time they're willing to sell not only to us, but willing to sell to us at the price that we're able to buy at the municipality is welcoming, welcoming us with open arms saying, please do something about this. It looks so terrible, you know, there's typically issues of people breaking in, causing issues yeah. on the inside. So yeah, we, we typically get greeted with open arms. The last one that we that we purchased was in Ohio. I actually sent the package to Jonathan. So if you had a chance to look at it, let me know. I did. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So on that <laughs> on that property, uh, the zoning, the rezoning to self storage was probably the the fastest I've ever done. I submitted my business plan. Uh, within a week, they asked me to jump on a Zoom call. I, want, I was on the Zoom call for 15 minutes. They asked me three questions, and then they approved my zoning change. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty easy. Yeah. Because yeah. like, so, I, yeah, I noticed easier. I noticed a lot of uh, ground up. They're trying to make it look more like uh, retail on the outside. You know, putting in the fake windows and stuff. And I, I know, I know operators are doing that because the. Uh, demographics of the users are typically um, a higher percentage of women and they like the nicer looking facilities but at the same time they're trying to keep the municipalities uh, happy because the you know the older self-storage kind of looking stuff with the big fence around it and the single garages uh, you know I don't want to say they're an eyesore but they're not as beautiful as you they can be you can't build a you know <laughs> A 50,000 square foot brick building and put no windows on it, or even fake ones. Everyone will think it's a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it's windows. And you touched on a pretty important part on, you know, both sides of the table. So the first side is kind of this NIMBY movement or the not my backyard movement. Right. So people don't want to see these eyesores, these old school first generation facilities, you know, class C or class D facilities.